In my last video, I showed off a small project I did. I wanted to highlight one small detail of it in this video. We'll call this an 87 subscriber special. You may have noticed that the camera bobs about. This can be used to imply that the character is exhausted or simply make accurate shooting more difficult. An effect like this is often combined with the ability to study for more realistic aiming. I'll be explaining how to do this in Godot, but the theory should apply just as well to any game engine that supports Perlin or Simplex noise. But first, let's up the resolution. I'll be showing this bit in 720 because my computer can't run the game and record in 1080, but maybe I'll get a better computer whenever I have that big YouTube boy money. If you've been following this channel for a while, you'll recognize this is Lo-Fi Sky, a project I keep threatening to rename. I've added a script to the camera like the one I wrote for Our Harvest. All you need for this is a camera and a noise sample, but some scenery wouldn't go amiss. At this stage of Lo-Fi Sky, I have an island and some water that looks different in every video I upload. You can see the crosshair bobbing about in a looping pattern. I've exaggerated the range and speed for the demonstration, but it's fully customizable in the code, which you can see here. I've simplified the character script so that it's easier to understand. You'll notice that this doesn't even allow the player to move. The script consists of three parts, ready, input, and physics process. As you can probably guess, these are called when the node is added to the tree, when the player provides input, and when the physics are updated. I should specify that the physics process is not the same as the process function. The process function is called every update, whereas the physics process is called whenever physics are updated. Without getting into specifics, just know that updating transforms without using the physics process can cause some odd bugs. Anyway, looking into the declarations and ready function, you'll see that it's mostly just setting up the noise. I've specifically opted to use one octave each, since this will allow the camera to swing more dramatically, but you can mess with these values as well as lacinarity, period, and persistence to get the effect you want. The more important thing to note is that the seed value must be different, or the camera will just bob in a diagonal line. The shortest section is input. All we do here is check that any given event is the mouse moving, and if it is, keep that information for the physics function. I'm modifying the value by mouse sensitivity, which, in a full project, would be added to the options menu. With that stored, we move on to our physics process. Each update, we increment our counter by how much time has passed times the frequency we declared at the top. Next, we pull a sample from each of the noises and multiply it by our amplitude that we set at the top. This is the range in degrees our camera will sway. You'll notice that we are only modifying the X and Y. This is because Z is roll, and that's a bit too disorienting for most purposes, but would be useful in establishing the character as ill or ready to pass out. If you do use roll for such an effect, let me know in the comments. Finally, we set the rotation degrees to the sum of the two. Keeping them separate means that the camera will bob around a central point and not just drift away entirely. And with that, we have a fully customizable camera bob that can be changed on the fly. I really like making this first tutorial video, and I'd be interested in doing more. Let me know what type of things you'd like to see. I use Godot, but I try to keep the theory as universal as possible. Subscribe for more tutorials, game dev, and occasional love for Endless Ocean.